Yo, it's Tom Halliwell here, and today is going to be a very good day. I've just literally got out of bed about half an hour ago. Um, didn't sleep well last night because I've literally been thinking all night about collecting my two guitars, which I'm doing right now. So, to be honest, I didn't really sleep. I just wanted to play guitar all night and just collect my guitars and play them now. But, uh, eventually I did fall asleep, which means I'm really tired now. But I got up and I'm going to Joe White Guitar Workshop to pick up my guitars and then I'll rock out at home and I'll show you the whole thing. Yo people, so I've been walking for about an hour, as you can see my jacket's off now. Um, I'm just sweating way too much. <laughs> it's all worth getting the guitars though. Um, yeah, as I'm, I'm pretty much there, I mean, I'm about 15 minutes away. Um, I just want to walk over this bridge and tell you about my two guitars that I'm picking up. Um, so as you saw, with one of the guitars was a gold top Les Paul. And I'm getting the, the bridge pickup replaced with a, I believe it's a Kent Armstrong JB pickup. Um, and then I've got a Traveller guitar which I'm taking to Poland and I'm going to Poland on Monday. Uh, hopefully you can hear me as I'm crossing this bridge. I'm going to Poland on Monday and um, with that travel guitar, uh, I've got a, a JB in the bridge as well. And um, I've got them professionally set up by Joe White and I'll explain more when I get to his house. Enjoy the view. <laughs> Beautiful view. So yeah, I'm just gonna go to his house now. It's about 10 minutes away. I'll see you there, all right? I hope I'm going the right way. Last time I, I got a taxi. This time I thought I'd do some exercise. Okay, so I think we are here. Yes, so excited now. So this is Joe White's uh, little guitar workshop. It's a beautiful place. <clears throat> it's a little kind of bungalow thing. There they are. Hello there. Ah, uh, here we go. This is gonna be good. So this is my travel guitar. Little travel with Mr. Joe White. <laughs> Before we do anything, Tom, let's have a look yep. at the improvements to your baby. Okay. I can't wait to feel it because this had quite a nice neck, so... <coughs> yeah, I just can't wait to... You know, the, the neck already felt quite good, so... Yeah. Imagine well, what it's going to be like now. All these little improvements makes everything so Ooh, much better. Ooh, look at that. New pickup and everything. That is lovely. Yep. And the improvements that you've had made now is are really good. One, once it's set up. Ooh, yeah, but every nine months you have to have it redone again. Yeah, that's the thing with guitars. Yeah. And that's what a lot of guitar players don't understand. I don't understand that. Well, you've been coming here for, well, since you were at school. For nine years, yeah. Yeah, since, since you were you were you were a young schoolboy when you came here. The first thing was a Stets bar on my SG. Yeah. So that new pickup, what do you think of that new pickup that That is incredible actually. It sounds fat, beautiful, juicy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't Thumbs it? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay. Right, we go on to the next one now, Tom. Oh my god, that's the one I'm really excited yeah, about. Okay. So no. I'm going to Poland on Monday, so I can't wait to travel with this. Yeah. And can you just quickly explain, because I remember last week you had some good explanations of um, the pickups. Um, about Kent Armstrong, you know, and Seymour Duncan, about how they're yeah. actually the same and people. Well, a, a pickup is magnet and wire. No yeah. more. 
It's a magnet in wire. So what you have to be very careful for is who actually makes the magnet. Because a magnet is not just a magnet. Yeah. Uh, if for instance, uh, you bought a, a pickup that is £47. Um, I think the um, Seymour Duncan is, is twice as much, okay, in the 80s, for instance. You, the uh, Kent Armstrong rocker, is almost the equivalent of the Seymour Duncan... Um, JB. Yeah, the JB, for instance. Um, but the value, uh, the output, I think, on the JB is about 16K. Yours, I believe, is 14K. Um, our Nico 5 magnet, Seymour Duncan, our Nico 5 magnet. But there are very bad magnets out there that are our Nico 5. But Kent Armstrong produces some good stuff, good pickup. Affordable, but people get into names. They've got to have that name, that brand. When, if they knew guitars, they wouldn't think like that. They would just listen and think, yeah, I like that. That's good. Same as wine. Yeah. Red wine, white wine. People say, oh, I prefer red wine. When in actual fact, uh, you might prefer something else. And it's down to you. Whatever you prefer, that's great. That's and um, I don't buy, I'm not into brands. So I tell you about the brands and I tell you about the equivalents to try to save you money. Yeah. And um, proof of the pudding here is today. So if you pay in, say, 80 or 90 pounds for a pickup, You've been paid 47. Are you pleased for the money that you've been saying? Yeah. yeah so this is my Gibson guitar, gold top Les Paul, with a rocker. With a Kent Armstrong. Kent Armstrong rocker. A rocker. And I'm so excited to play it. Okay, let's go through the, the details. Right, Tom, when you brought this guitar in, yep. you had nine thou relief. That's quite a bit. We give you six. At the octave on the bass string, you had 90 thou, we gear 70. Mm -hmm. On the treble at the octave, you had 80, we gear 50. And you can see on the graph where you were, Ouch. where you are now. That's the bass string. Yeah. On the treble, you can see where you were and where you are yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, with this one, it was really bad. Yeah. So Improvements, cool. wow. Now, all across the first fret. <coughs> and if you see over, these are your adjustments this side. Mm -hmm. This is what you brought it in. On, on the E string, at the first fret, you had 16, we give you 17 thou. On the A, you had 17 thou, we give you 16. Can you see all these numbers are all diminishing numbers now? As the string gets smaller, Tom, the numbers are getting smaller. Yeah. On the D, you had 18, we give you 16. The G, you had 17, we give you 15. The B, you had 18, we give you 14. On the I, E, you had 19, we give you 12. So that's funny because here, yeah. Before it was going up, <laughs> and it's meant to go down. Yeah, and this is a graph. The red line is the graph of your nut when you brought it in. Mm -hmm. The green line now is your adjustment. This is your new graph. Yeah. And here, recorded before and after, so you can look at the differences between each string, Beautiful. all the adjustments here. Lovely. The rest of this is all, is all your nut cutting, truss rods, adjustments, stoning of frets, recrowning, fingerboards being oiled, electrics, potentiometers, switches, all being recleaned, jacks, cleaned, adjusted, tightened, truss rods under tension, nuts, saddle heights, and also, what a lot of people forget about, the radius of your neck is recorded, and it's also, we check your bridge to make sure that that, there's a lot of them bend in the middle. So we check all that. Oh, really? Nice. Balance of pickups, intonation, test, play, battery checks. Of course, you haven't got one on this one. No. And complimentary cleaning. And it is very now, clean. Now, we, we, we spoke quite a bit about this guitar, but now what you had done to it. What did you have done? You had the J. White Professional set up. Yeah, let's, let's tell people what, what was it was like before. Well, they knew it, so um, I'd done a video on it. But we had two P90s before. Yeah, this is, this is the work. You had, you had the setup, but... Yeah. You had these um, NYXLs strings. These are the EXPs, yep. so um, they will last you five times longer. You had routing done for your pickup because you had two P90s mm -hmm. and you wanted the unbucker. So we had a route out to fit the unbucker. Yep. So again, this is the Kent Armstrong rocker. Okay, she's the hot rod pickup, which costs forty-seven pounds. 
but all your rail tin tom cost forty pounds. Fitting the pickup was only twenty pounds. Yeah. You got a bill on this one of one hundred and ninety pounds. That's great. Now we spoke about it quite a bit. Yep. Now let's test it. Let's, let's test it. Let's, let's get it playing. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's going to be good. That's it. Oh, lovely. It's got that. suggested it it allows you to play rock heavy rock and yep. it also allows you to play blues lovely that's what that pickup allows you to do <laughs> Hello there people, just came out of Joe White Guitar Workshop about half an hour ago, I've been walking for half an hour with two guitars, um, pretty insane, I've decided to sit down near some church fin, something to do with Jesus, God bless Jesus, and um, drinking an energy drink that's called Rockstar, pretty um, living up to the name I am. So yeah, the workshop was very good. Oh my God, Joe White is just awesome. Seriously, thanks Joe White. Uh, I can't wait to get home and rock out to the guitar all day. I mean, I've got kind of like website I need to do, but I think I'm just gonna chill today and literally practice and play because those pickups sound great and the guitar feels amazing. For all you guitar players that haven't had your guitar set up in, I don't know, nine months, one year, um, I recommend going to Joe White's Guitar Workshops. <clears throat> and if you've never had your guitar set up by Joe White, you're in for a big surprise. Um, he's just far better than anywhere else. All the music shops that charge £40, that do a really bad job, this guy, he, He's been doing this for I don't know how many years, maybe 40 or something, and he literally is perfectionist about everything. He knows his stuff, he's got all these weird gadgets that no other place has, um, and he's done loads of famous people, uh, he's set up loads of famous people's guitars from the Rolling Stones to Slash to loads of people. So. Um, He's a great guy to see. And he will just happily sit there with you for half an hour to an hour explaining everything about your guitar. And he teaches you a lot. I learn something new every time I go there. So, if you need your guitar set up, go to Joe White Guitar Workshop. Okay, I think you can check him out at www.joewhite.co.uk. Um, I'll correct that if I'm wrong. And check him out. I'm going to get home now uh, after I drink my drink and I'm going to probably put on the end of this video some guitar playing of my new guitars. Why not? See you later guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Hello people, so I'm back. I've changed my top because when I got home I was literally soaking wet with sweat. Gross. <laughs> but um, yeah, I chilled out with a fan on, lay down on bed put a new top on, which you've probably seen in so many videos now. <laughs> um, what can I say, I'm a, minim a minimalist, which means I have like 25 items, and yeah, about five tops and three pairs of jeans, but rock and roll. Anyway, we got this guitar, and um, I'm so happy with it. The setup is perfect. 
the sound is perfect. It's proper rock and roll. This guitar is more kind of Eddie Van Halen esque, so I'll just get on with some sounds, okay? <laughs> This, this guitar I love. So this is my travel guitar which I'm going to Poland with. Okay, now let's get the Les Paul on. I can't find my camera charger and it's running out of battery. So let's make it quick. Quick test of the beautiful Les Paul with a JB humbucker in. Or a Kent Armstrong JB humbucker. Sounds a bit darker this one. Um... And it's amazing too. I love it. Um... tune but I don't have time to tune it because the camera is going to run out but I'll do another video another day on this guitar and the other guitar um, and I'm going to be doing um, some lessons now in standard tuning beginner lessons uh, so watch out I'm going to Poland on Monday so I'll probably the next video will be in Poland or on my way to Poland so subscribe like this video share this video spread the love uh, thank you Joe White for two amazing setups, well three if you're including my white guitar, my um, guitar I play with my band. And have a rocking day people, pick up your guitar, practice. Bye for now.